What's up, everyone? Welcome back to another episode of Fashion Friday. Hope you guys are having a great day. For next week's episode, I kind of want to do some sort of Thanksgiving-related theme. Like, I think, especially with some of the animal masks, we could come up with some pretty cool outfits. So, you know, if you have any Thanksgiving or just fun outfits that relate to Thanksgiving, then let me know in the comment section. If you just have a regular outfit that you think is awesome that you want to submit, then you can do that as well. But getting into the first outfit this week, we have... The CSGO Italy Terrorist from Broklaw. And this one, obviously, if you guys like CSGO, I know that's a pretty popular uh, game at the moment. You can now dress like some of the people in the game. So this one's fairly simple to make. You need a denim shirt and braces for the top with black leather gloves. For the bottom, forest team pants with flight boots. And then for the head, put on the black flat cap with the classic sack slasher mask. And you can see in this comparison picture, it looks pretty much identical and again, I mean, this one is obviously based off of CSGO, and if people play that game a lot, they should recognize you as that character from the game. So, if you're a fan of CSGO and GTA, you may want to try that one out. This next one, this one's actually pretty cool. It's called the Snow Cop, and I figure, you know, since winter's coming up, you may want to start role-playing as this if you're still playing GTA. So, Zypher Fox, he submitted this one. To make it, put a white tuck shirt on with the super light armor black driving gloves with the black tie for the bottom light gray baggy suit pants and then black work boots and then for the head obviously the white open face helmet now this one would look a lot better if you had like a motorcycle or some sort of bike that was white that kind of resembled a police bike i think that's what would fit best with this outfit but by itself it definitely looks nice and i, I definitely get the snow cop sort of vibe from it now these next two, these are Fallout related, and I know some of you guys don't care about Fallout, but like, come on guys, I would highly suggest, if you can, go out and try this game. It's it's so good, and it'll give you a nice change of pace from GTA. Like, I, I actually am really enjoying the game, and I just want you guys to enjoy it as well. If you don't like it, that's fine, but I would say give it a shot. Anyway, this one is Elder Maxon. He's the head of the Brotherhood, and to make this, put a tan leather fur jacket on with a black tuck shirt underneath. With standard armor, black fingerless gloves, for the bottom, black heist pants, and then for the head, the hipster youth haircut with the trimmed beard. And you're going to see a picture here from the game. It looks pretty much identical again. I mean, obviously, he in the game has a little bit more detail on some of the stuff, but it's fairly similar. And, and I know most of the time when we do these outfits, you know, based off of people, they don't really look that great. This one, I think, actually looks pretty damn cool. So... If you like Fallout 4 and you like him as a character, you might want to check that out. This next one is not Fallout 4 related, it's just Fallout related in general. It's called The Vault Boy. And this one, especially if you were in a crew with the logo 111, you could put that on your back. That would obviously stand out a lot more. But this one, fairly simple to make it. So start with a sky blue sports coat with a yellow baseball tee underneath it. For the bottom, blue chinos with black work boots. And then for the head, the high slick sides with the 42nd color. This is just one of those fun outfits where if you just want to run around and many people should recognize you as the Vault Boy. So if you're a big fan of Fallout, you know, you may want to check that out. And then finally, the last one from Chris. This one is the female outfit and it's called the Spy Girl. And it, it sort of has that feeling, that vibe to it as well. So to make this one, start with a black trench coat with black leather gloves. For the bottom, black combat pants and flight boots. And then for the head... The black sports glasses with the black military cap and then the loose tied black hair. Like I said, you definitely sort of get that spy girl type of feeling. So, you know, you wanted your uh, female outfit to look pretty interesting. Then there is an outfit for you. So that is it. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys for watching. Drop a like, subscribe, all that stuff if you haven't already. If you do have an outfit you want to submit for next week's episode, just let me know in the comment section. Anyway, see you guys in the next video. As always, I'm out. Peace.